nutritional benefits of breastfeeding and care for the mother after the birth of the newborn. What we will cover. What the advantages of breastfeeding are for the baby. How breastfeeding helps with the proper development of the baby. What the advantages of breastfeeding are for the mother. The challenges that may be encountered when breastfeeding. And the caring of the new mother's health and well-being. The advantages of breastfeeding for the baby are introduction of colostrum, which cleans out the immature digestive system and is high in antibodies, lowers the incidence of eczema, allergies, rashes, high blood pressure, dental problems, diabetes, and low blood calcium. Causes proper bonding with mom and stabilizes their weight throughout childhood. The development of neurological, immune, and digestive systems for the baby. At birth, the brain weighs 350 grams. At the end of the first year, it weighs over 1,000 grams. At no other time in our development will this profound growth rate occur again. The infant brain is constantly growing, reorganizing, and rewiring itself to adapt to new conditions and floods of incoming data. Therefore, the importance of ensuring appropriate nutrition and adequate stimulus cannot be overstated. During the first year, the brain demands 60% of the total energy absorbed. At rest, the brain uses 20% of all oxygen in the blood and excess of 25% of the blood sugar, and 50% of all calories must come from fat. Breastfeeding initiates postnatal brain development by stimulating the pons and same-sided functions of suckling with alternate opposite side stimulus. Enhanced by touch, maternal communication and loving interaction is the most dynamic and essential neurological tool. Positions used during feeding enhance neurological development by allowing free movement of one side while restricting motion on the opposite side during the first few months of development, providing equal opportunity to both sides. Developing senses, taste, smell, hearing, sight, and touch. The brain, muscles, joints, and organs work as a team. Each develops as they learn to synchronize functions. This is why it is important not to push babies to perform tasks that they're not ready to perform and to limit the use of equipment that creates abnormal activities. Cuts age in making connections within the brain, releases neuronal stimulants, and reduces stress hormones. No formula has sufficient additives such as essential fatty acids or magnesium and frequently contains too many extras and has no macrophages, interferon, lactoferrin, or zinc. Breast milk contains immunoglobin A that protects against E. coli, respiratory virus, and other pathological organisms. It also has lactoferrin, an iron-binding protein that reduces the amount of free iron for bacteria to use for their growth. This decreases the incidence of staph infections, influenza, ear infections, and colds. Gastrointestinal development is enhanced by breast milk. It also contains growth factor that encourages healthy bacteria formation, protecting the infant from GI infections, and enzymes that discourage parasite proliferation. The advantages of breastfeeding for the mother are stimulation of contractions of the uterus to stop bleeding and return the uterus to pre-pregnancy shape, decrease risk of urinary tract infection in the weeks after birth, weight loss after birth, delay in the return of menstrual period for six months or longer, hormonal enhancement of feelings of bonding with the baby, decreased risk of breast or ovarian cancer, time to relax and enjoy your child, savings of time, effort, and money. Challenges when breastfeeding. Deficient hormone influence within the mother. Prolactin, oxytocin, and feedback inhibitor of lactin. Disorganized suckling from mechanical birth trauma, congenital deformities, genetic development syndromes, pharmacological suppression, in utero imprinting, delayed in putting the baby to breast, nursery mismanagement, neurological suppression or developmental delays, biomechanical dysfunction. Dysfunctional breastfeeding from suppressed or worked, weak rooting or suckling reflex, decreased oral excursion, failure to flange lips, tongue action, short frenulum, Decreased range of motion of the occiput and our first cervical vertebra. Decreased range of motion of the neck. 
dysfunctional segmental motion, cranial and or cervical subluxations. And don't forget about the other member of the breastfeeding duo, mother's diet, stress level, hormone imbalance, lack of education, ergonomics, mother's structural integrity. Support for breastfeeding mothers. Mothers, grandmothers, friends. La Leche League International. Lactation consultants at the hospital. Breastfeeding support groups. Chiropractors. And medical physicians. Chiropractic adjustments in the cervical and thoracic spine of the mother stimulates adequate hormonal expression and removes interference of the nervous system to the breast tissues. Adjustments of the newborn allows for proper suction and latching, pain-free range of motion in the neck, and aids in digestion. Caring for the new mother's health and well-being. The primary reason for low back and cervical injuries may not be industrial labor or even heavy yard work. Trauma can be caused on a daily basis by being the mother to the tiniest people in the world. There's no time off for disability or light duty for the new mother. What does caring for your new child involve? It means hours of repetitive bending and lifting, holding a child for sustained periods of time, carrying unbalanced loads, and dealing with baby furniture that is an ergonomic nightmare. Add to this the increasing weight and activity of the child or multiple children, and the musculoskeletal insult escalates. The normal curves of the spine are essential in progressively changing throughout pregnancy and after birth of the child until the stable weight is obtained. Muscle skeletal injuries such as disc syndrome, sciatica, and brachial neuritis are common. A posture evaluation addressing the major body positions adopted throughout the day by the caregiver will help. Since most caregivers stand for the majority of the day's activities, proper footwear will help to reduce fatigue and back strain. Support a chair for rocking, nursing, or reading. Review correct lifting and bending techniques. Sleeping postures ergonomics of getting children in and out of car seats. Perform simple, specific exercises rather than generic exercise sheets. Create a fine time for aerobic workouts. If overweight, discuss nutrition and exercise to decrease strain on the lower back and reduce stress. Chiropractors not only help the new mother in all the previous mentioned areas, chiropractors will evaluate the specific stresses of the spine and adjust those areas to alleviate stress and neurological imbalance. Thank you for watching.